Okay, today's course was Hobbs Hole Golf Course in Tappahannock, Virginia. Tappahannock is another course that's down in King George, Virginia. It's easily an hour drive southeast of uh, Fredericksburg, out Route 17, out there where Golden Tee and a couple other courses I've played are. I knew this course is going to be a, a hike out there to play, uh, but I looked. It was the only one that was south of D.C. and southeast, and I figured that since it's only January, I would go out and play it now uh, when it wasn't hot and it wasn't full of bugs and stuff. And one of the problems with playing any course down there on the river uh, in Virginia along the Rappahannock is they have the Virginia version of greenies. And I don't know if, you know, if you know anything about greenies, they're these biting flies. And Virginia has big greenies. And, you know, New Jersey has a lot of greenies. Um, a lot of greenies. Like if you play down there on the, any of the estuary um, areas, they're just, it's just a swarm. It's like being, you know, air piranhas. In Virginia, you don't see that many of them, you know, per se, but the ones you do see are, are big suckers, big, annoying, uh, biting flies. And they're really a pain in the butt when you see them, because they'll follow you around, you know, like for two or three holes. And so I, I just didn't want to deal with that. So that's one reason I went ahead and played it now. There just weren't any real bugs out. I mean, it just was a nice, casual round of golf. Definitely enjoyable. And I certainly would recommend if you're going to play down in the, along that part of Virginia, you really kind of want to play in the, the late, late winter, um, you know, not too early, not too late before, you know, the snow comes out in February. But definitely before the bugs come out in, you know, April, April through September, October is just, you know, that's not the kind of time I want to go down there and play just because of the bugs. They're just that annoying. And it's, it, it just is just too distracting when you're trying to play golf. It was nice. The weather was nice today. It was a uh, high 65. It was windy. But the course is a 6,800 yard course from the black tees, the back tees and uh, slope about 125, maybe, um, you know, maybe about uh, 125, 130 from the back tees. And they have the full set. The, the whites are up, the blues are back, and the, the blacks are uh, substantially back. On one hole, at least, it was at least uh, 50 to 75 yards back behind the blue tees. I thought it was a good course. I had a good time playing it, enjoyed the round. Another course where I wish that the round continued on a little bit longer i would call it a shot makers course as much as anything else it is fairly uh open in terms of not having a lot of trees on the course there are some spaces and some holes where they the trees definitely come into play but it never really gets um let's say narrow or tight and there's plenty of room to hit uh long shots and a few of the holes had sort of a neck, you know, coming into the green, uh, where horse, a course might have, um, maybe a hundred yards wide of landing area off the tee, but then you start, you know, coming as you come in towards the green, it narrows down and maybe there's a valley or something. And that was the case for, I don't know, about four or five of the holes, but uh, most of the holes were pretty consistent. It's a flat course with some verticality in terms of, uh, maybe having, you know, plus or minus 20 feet or so um, along the fairway between the tee box and the green of verticality. Enough verticality to make the course interesting and certainly make the uh, lies inconsistent. And um, with some of the humps that you might see on, um, uh, I guess some, you know, some courses will have a hump or, you know, humps in the fairway or humps on the sides of the fairway. And certainly some valleys, never really any uh, water to play across, except on the, some of the par threes. There was a one hole that had a, a waste shot. We had to cross some waste off the back tees, the blue and black tees, but usually not. It did have OB though, and, it, and the OB was not too tight, not too wide. It gave you some some waste to to look for your ball in, and some waste to worry about before you got to the OT markers, but there were, 
There are certainly houses around the outside of the course on at least half the course. And I know that the OB was tight enough to be a concern, but not really so tight as to be a problem. And uh, I think it was a good course. It was a good sort of mix in the sense between uh, courses like Lee Hill and um, Oak Creek, but not as tight and certainly not as much waste as Oak Creek. Uh, Lake Presidential without the really long carries that you see in some of the holes that that, are, that you have a Lake Presidential. I thought it was a, a good classic shot makers course, not too long, not too short, not too easy, not too hard. Certainly a good round of golf, and I definitely enjoyed it. And I think um, overall it was a, a good price, $20, $28 for 18 holes with a cart all day long, uh, no hot deals involved. And I figured that I'd try to play a course today that was a little cheaper, even if it meant doing a, a drive for an hour or so out and an hour or so back. And uh, instead of having to pay $35, $40 for a round, also there was another benefit that they had um, used balls there, experienced balls, and they were $4, sorry, a dollar for four balls. Last course I played, they were a dollar each. So that's a significant difference. Instead of, you know, um, getting four balls for four dollars, I ended up getting you know, twelve balls for for twelve no twelve balls for three dollars. Much better deal on that, and um, I just thought it was a, a pretty good round. There's there's some lake action in play on uh, about five or six of the holes, and the you know sand traps were fairly significant and certainly in play on most of the holes. And um, the, the fairways weren't all that wide, and, and certainly with the wind, all, all together with the wind, it made a good challenge. I would say it was an intermediate-level uh, round, and I definitely enjoyed it. I really can't say too much more than that, just to say that it, you know, it was quite a drive out of D.C. to play it, no question about it. But I think it was worth the drive. I had a, you know, It was a nice drive down there, a nice drive back. And um, you just have to you know, be willing and sort of want to take a drive to go and play golf. And this is, this is certainly that kind of a drive, you know, Kiskiak kind of drive down there on, on the Rappahannock river. And I just, I thought it was good. I, I certainly give the course, I would give it at least a B minus sort of more like a B B minus the, the clubhouse was a little small, but nice. They had a, you know, good outfit there at the clubhouse, a, a decent, um, uh, a hot bar, and, uh, and you know, a wet bar there. The only thing I can say is a hot dog test. While the dog was nice, it was a, you know, regular steam boiled uh, hot dog um, and a Coke kind of combination. I thought it was a little bit expensive, especially they didn't even throw chips in there. And it was just a regular dog, you know, nothing unusual. And seven fifty for a hot dog and a, and a 12 ounce Coke fountain drink. I mean, that was easily the most expensive that I've paid in a while. If ever, if not ever, I tipped the, the waitress $2.10 and it was an even $10 for that. And I was, whoa, you know, it's, it's just strange to find places that will serve you, you know, decent but average food at these ridiculous prices. And, you know, that was the one sort of sore point that I had with the course. Other than that, it was a really good, uh, nice challenge from the first hole all the way around. There wasn't really an easy hole there. Except maybe one of the, even the par three on the on the backside. I think it's number uh, seventeen is a short par three, one hundred fifty one yards. But it's it's on the corner of that lake that runs between number nine and number eighteen. And um, you know, just a good solid round. It was it was like if you took Haynes Point and put a fair amount of water and some verticality and quite a bit of sand traps around the greens, quite a bit of slope and drop off behind the greens. Certainly some, some of the greens you, if you went over the top, you know, you had only the fact that the grass was maybe an, an, an inch or two long worth of rough behind the greens to save you from going off into the woods. And, um, luckily the woods were not that extensive, not that much, not that, uh, widespread, certainly there, but not like a, a, a you know, a big concern, like, they would be at, say, General Ridge or something, or, or Lee's Hill especially. 
Also, the greens were Poa and a greens, but uh, this was these were less disagreeable than normally because they were mowed very uh, short, or at least they hadn't grown up or something. But they were very short and very smooth and actually not bad to put on. I wouldn't say they were great or bad. They were okay. And I, even even given that they were Poeana, there's still a, there were a couple of greens that had some burn marks on them where the uh, green uh, was in bad condition in some spots. But pretty for the most part, in pretty good shape. And with decent action, certainly a decent size, and not um, too flat, not too hilly, but but decent. I th I thought the putting was okay on this course. It was one of the better courses with Poiana greens that I've played on, and certainly I, I didn't think it was awful, but it wasn't you know it wasn't great. It wasn't like they were really nice bladed grass uh, greens, but they weren't bad, and I would say they were they were a C uh, in terms of putting. They were okay. I mean, certainly I wouldn't say that uh, I ever really enjoy them. They were, they were okay in a sense that the uh, greens were smooth enough and rolled true enough to be decent, especially considering it was January. And, but I wouldn't say that they were, they broke well enough and consistently enough for the balls rolled true enough to be actually, you know, good to putt on. They were okay to play on. Easily the best Poeta Greens I've ever played on, but I still wouldn't recommend it. Even based on this course, I wouldn't recommend it. I don't see the real value in playing, uh, having such um, grass on the greens. It was all right at best. Not a good set of greens to putt on, but not bad. It's not like I would run away from this course because of the greens. And I, I certainly thought it was worth the drive past Lee's Hill past the gauntlet, past Augustine even, you know, to play this course. I wouldn't say that I'd play it, you know, like it was my favorite course, but I definitely think it was worth the drive down there to play it. I can certainly recommend it. That is Hobbs Hill Golf Course in Tappahannock, Virginia.